I would say firstly that we should not be at any point complacent about the possibility of Russian interference in our democratic processes. Uh, secondly, I don't think you can really uh, draw any conclusions from the three lines or, or thereabouts that the, the report uh, has on the Scottish independence referendum, but I would you know, include that in my general remarks about not being complacent um, about Russian interference, although I would say that the uh, Scottish independence movement and the kind of values I and my party uh, stand for, I, I don't think could be uh, further removed from the kind of values that Vladimir Putin and the Russian regime uh, stand for. Um, on the Brexit uh, referendum, it appears uh, that the committee concludes that there's no evidence of interference there because the UK government hasn't looked for it. Um, and that brings me to my last point, which is uh, the question you asked me at the end. I do think the main message out of an initial reading of this report would be um, what I think could possibly be described as negligence on the part of the UK government in the face of uh, potential uh, Russian interference. And I hope that this report leads to a much more uh, rigorous approach and to the UK government taking these threats to our democratic processes uh, much more seriously than they appear to have been doing uh, so far.